I really want a Leith encounter right now to fix things with. Leith is very helpful with that sort of thing. Let's see. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait. Kerbal Psyche is, Psyche is pretty stable, yeah. Air breaking again? Uh, we passed air breaking, yeah. We are, uh, okay, we should be good for time warp now. We're just getting a stable orbit around Jewel in order to fulfill a contract. And we've got little Sidri Kerman in here. And his job is going to be to get this thing to Val. And to do much science there. We've got to be leaving Sidri at Val for around Val orbit for quite a while. Uh oh, uh, well, I, I think we should get our solar panel back out here. No, I'm not going to go around for error breaking again. I'm correcting my orbit at AP for... to get into full orbit. We're, we're getting into full orbit now. And then I'm going to use Leith in order to adjust my orbit to Val. So it's going to be like this for now. Solar panel doesn't seem to be recharging us properly. Oh, blocked by the cockpit. Okay. Um... Well, yeah. Uh, okay. Nope. No, nope, no. Nope. How about like that? Would you like that? Oh, solar panel? Okay, you like that. Alright. We'll go for that for now. Okay, getting close. I guess we should turn off the really overly dramatic music, but... Yeah, let's just go back to the calmer music for now. Because we're not going to air break again. I know I haven't done the dual crew report yet. I have to do that. But I want to fulfill the contract first. Okay, well, we've got the Leif encounter anyway. I don't have to fiddle around with it. Okay, just need to maintain stability for 10 seconds. Okay, we've got it. Contract fulfilled. Now the Val part. But as you said, we should do the Jewel crew report and EVA report. Okay, and EVA. Try not to slide anywhere. Oh, right. EVA report. No, no, just keep it. Oh, he slid. He slid. Why does he always slide? Okay. Now transfer. What happens if you close your cargo bay with the solar panel sticking out? Uh, you want me to find out? No, I, I don't want to find out. I think it will, it will break apart, but I don't want to risk that right now. Um, this is actually meant to be a long-term vehicle in this area. So, uh, for cabin space and long trips, you like the snacks mod? Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, EVA in high atmosphere of Jewel report? Well, I'm not going to be doing that one. Okay, well that brings us in. But it gives us quite a lot of inclination. Come on, Lathe. Okay, that's above Lathe's atmosphere. It's a bit flat. Let's see. If I target Val now... Yeah, okay. Uh, this is getting a little bit... Okay, well that's a little bit weird, but okay. I think that's good enough. We'll eventually hit Val like that. I don't want to ask too much of Lathe. Okay. Oh, good, good, oh, no, that's fine, no, no, that's not a problem. That's after we, uh, we, we will fix that at Boapsis, that's fine, that's not a problem. Okay, bit of a glitch, can only click after PE in some place, okay, is that the glitch? Well, I've had the not being able to create a maneuver node for quite a while, and is it that we have to pass periaps as well? doesn't do any good. Of course, I always need to do it before periapsis. Crew report. Ah, this is near Jewel. Yep. Transmit. 
Okay, EVA Sidri. And EVA report. Keep data. Board. And we can transmit that. Okay. Well, here we are at Lathe. You know what we have to do. We're getting plenty of science out of this for sure. All right. Why do I keep doing that? Transmit. You have a suggestion. What about putting a chat window in the lower right portion of the screen to have it in the YouTube video? Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll look into that. It's a good idea. I think there is a modification to OBS that allows that. I'll have to check that out. All right, anyway, uh, let's get out of Leif Sir Influence since we can't do any more. I, I don't think we can do... We must have done the other experiments already. Yeah. And we would definitely have done the temperature scan. So, onward to Apoapsis so that we can not crash into Jewel. Okay, well, maybe we can uh, get an encounter with Val as well. Let's see. Okay, well, this costs a lot more than I thought it would. I'll leave it there. I don't want to use more than I want, uh, than I absolutely need to. Well, we're gonna have to use some of this stage's fuel. The question is, we'll have enough to to get into orbit around Val. How much how much Delta V do I have? Oh uh, well, let me expend this portion first, then I'll figure it out. Okay, that's the end of that. Before I do that, well, I have to get him into proper orbit around Jules, so I can't uh, say after I. I mean, I can't avoid this burn. I can't avoid this burn. 290 only. On the ISP. 1619. That's all the fuel. That's including the part we've already burned on this burn. Okay. Well, open question about how much it'll take to get into orbit around Val. Most of the chat gets edited out anyway, and the message I read by... Yeah, yeah, uh, that's a thing. Uh, though, the, the reason why for YouTube I edit out a lot of the stuff is partly because you can't, uh, the viewer on YouTube can't read the chat, so it won't make any sense. Uh, so if I had the chat up, I guess the YouTube videos would be longer, which is probably a bad thing. At least the poodle will not be debris. Good point. It will... Uh, it will uh, add minutely to the mass of Jewel. Okay, well, we're going to go through that part where we're going to have acceleration, but I don't want to use more fuel than I have to. What are you saying there? I uh, tried to use Val's gravity assist to have an orbit with less eccentricity, then encounter Val again to get to orbit. Ah. Well, if, if we can manage that one, yeah. With my luck, I'll... Uh, I'll encounter Val, get uh, less eccentricity, come around and hit Lathe. <laughs> so, but encountering Val is is the thing. If if it turns out if we encounter Val, and uh, we don't have enough delta V to uh, slow down, then yeah, I guess that's the way to go. I think we're yeah. I'm gonna change my orbit just a little bit. I don't like the way things are going here. Let me just do it here. This periapsis here. Looks like it isn't forcing us to go out of time warp at this point. It's not saying that we're under acceleration unless I'm actually accelerating, so. I guess that's only when you air break. Okay, please tell me I can catch up with this thing. Oh, now it's telling me I can't. Music too loud right now. 
Okay, can you do a zero change node and click next orbit to see what... Ah, okay. Put empty node. Yeah, you could be both suggesting the same thing. Doesn't look like we're having any fun here. I don't think it's changing at all, is it? I think we still have the same sort of gap. Yeah, we're we're pretty close to resonant. We're not really we're not exactly, but it's gonna take like twenty orbits to actually stop this. So I'm gonna pull it in even more. Let's try it now. Well that's that's definitely more yeah, that that'll do better. Okay. Oh heck, he was expecting a two-year trip anyway. Well, we've only added a little bit of time to that. Okay, so we've got this now not... Okay, but it's still under acceleration according to the game for some reason. Uh-oh. I was afraid of this. We've got a lathe encounter. Oh, we've got a very close lathe encounter. This is bad. Oh no. Leif is not letting me go. Oh heck. What if I... Oh. Wait, it's not letting me make a maneuver now. Looks like I have to reorient it to... Get some sun. First. Okay, where this oh jewel is still blocked oh no there's the sun. Okay, good. We must not have this encounter with Lathe. That's why you shouldn't play the orbit waiting game around Jewel. Well, now you tell me. I didn't hear you raising any objections earlier. It's taking a bit of Delta V here. Okay. We are avoiding Lathe. Okay, disaster averted. Continuing. Oh no! Hey, that's not fair. We averted you. Crikey. Uh, it's not like Sidri has a choice. <laughs> not enough DV to do much different things, yeah. I'm falling in Jewel. Oh crap. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. I don't suppose you could give me maneuver nodes, KSP. No? This is getting to be very dangerous. We're using a lot of our Delta V for things we shouldn't use Delta V for. Raising this in order to avoid Jewel is increasing the likelihood that we're going to encounter Lathe. Yeah, I was hoping for to plot a more sophisticated thing than Radio Loud Screech. I was hoping to plot something that would take us out of Jewel and also avoid Lathe. Looks like that's not to be. Instead, we're gonna have to cross on the other side of Lathe. Okay, well... That's still our target, but we've got a bad inclination. Can we get a good inclination? Turn lemons into lemonade kind of thing. Uh, no, I don't want to escape. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, so close. Do I even want to encounter Val now? I might end up not being able to do anything with it. Well, that's as close as I can get from here. Alright, passing Jewel. Leave him in Leaf Orbit and send fuel. I don't know.
I haven't figured out how to air brake at Lathe yet. I don't know the air braking altitude at Lathe. Anyway, we've got this sort of thing going. Oh wow, that's a lot of delta v. Crikey! Now it wants me. Now it uh, allows me to make a maneuver, but then it creates a. How is? Oh, okay. I think we just have to pass Leif if I want to figure that out. I... Yeah, that's not helping. Okay, we need to pass Leif. Okay, what else have you guys been saying? Um, there goes Val. The duel is complicated business. Seems like. Cave Johnson said, no, remember Cave Johnson said that, uh, well, he, he did not accept the lemonade. <laughs> he did not like the idea of turning lemons into lemonade, if I recall that rant correctly. Yes, I know 50 kilometers is Leif Atmo, and we are not going to go in it, but I don't know what the actual altitude to safely air break at Leif is without crashing. No parachutes here. So we would have to air brake safely if we wanted to ensure Sidri's continued livelihood. Let's just try for Val. I think that's the way Sidri would have wanted. Would have, I say, as if he's already passed away. No, um... Let's see if I can make an adjustment here to affect things. Not really. Okay, passing lathe. We've already done the lathe science that we can. Okay, well there's there's a Val encounter. Now we can we can approach Val in a way that'll help us get into a more pleasing orbit. Uh, pleasing orbit, I meant. Okay, I've I've, I've reached my fiddle quotient for today. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna go for. This is a very expensive burn. But I don't think I have an option if I want to hit Val. By the way, one of the contracts is just to do science around Val, so. It's sort of okay. But. Sidri would be at risk. Okay. Is four nukes overkill for a module designed to move my station around? I don't know how big is your station. It's essentially a quad nuke drive. Um, you know, in this version, I don't even like the nukes. I'd, I'd go for uh, for the LV-909s myself. The, the mass of the tanks in relation to liquid fuel, it just doesn't make it worth it. And the mass of the LVNs themselves. Yeah, the leaf encounter somewhere. Try to use it. I think we're we're, we're past that now. We'll need to adjust our inclination, resulting inclination here. This is too high a pass, and that costs too much. Ouch! I guess I can check how much it is gonna cost to get into orbit. Looks like minimum 1,300. I probably know the answer to this, but let me check my Delta V just in case. Huh, <laughs> no. We've got 600. The station is definitely big. Well, yeah. Four nukes give you as much thrust as a poodle. Oh, yeah, good point. Poodle will work better. And if your station is big, the poodle, yeah, that would make sense. Tyler using Leif Encounter or Leif, Leif Encounter was using me. Any arrow breaking tips for Eve? 70 kilometers. <laughs> 70 kilometers worked fine. Well guys, we have a problem. Try multiple higher passes. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, don't try and land. No, yeah, don't do the direct approach. Don't do the direct approach. 70 kilometers pass to get captured first. That sucks. 
I can't really do anything with with Val now. Maybe Jewel is merciful this time? I doubt it. That, that's a thing. That uses too much of our existing fuel. There's gotta be a way of fixing it by using Val. Okay, that'll work. Jewel arrow break? Yeah, I... Uh, well, we could arrow break into jewel orbit. A very tight jewel orbit. We'd have to arrow break into a tight jewel orbit. But I don't even know what that would entail. Um, how much... Okay, we know we can get this Leif encounter. Let's see what it would take to get a low pass over Jewel. I think it'll take a lot more fuel to try and get to Jewel. I don't think we have the fuel. We barely have enough fuel in that case. Do a Jewel periapsis change at Jewel apoapsis. Okay, I want to vote. I want to vote. Either we try to bring it down to a tight orbit around Jewel, or we do a Lathe encounter and try to bring it into orbit around Lathe. You guys decide. I'll, I'll, I'll throw my weight in in a sec, but... Okay, opinions. Let me just see how much it would cost to bring it down. Oh, whoa, no, no, no. Come on. Oh, I can't check. Lathe? See two votes for Lathe? The thing about Jewel is it might not be stable. Okay, we're going for Lathe. But we don't know the right air breaking altitude on the second pass. I know the right air breaking altitude for entering the sy system. I don't know what to do when we are passing it like this. So close yet so far. Well, we can do we can do science. And that will fill a contract. Let's see. Have we been around Val before? Yeah. Okay. ISP is going to get lower in the atmosphere. Well, I don't plan to use any ISP in the atmosphere. Um, go out and collect the science. What what science am I supposed to collect? There is nothing. There's no science. What? And your thrust weight ratio might not be enough. Be careful. Uh, yeah, well, again, I'm, what, when, why, why am I burning in the atmosphere? Oh, uh, no, 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 you're talking to somebody else, aren't you? Hopefully. Okay, crew report. Transmit. Thermometer, barometer. No, 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 we've done... Oh, uh, you mean to recover it? No, don't worry about that. No, no, we're, we're talking about transmission. We're not talking about recovery. Um, we'll, we'll do that... Once we, yeah, that's that's a different thing altogether. That's a, that's a different sort of mission. We're not doing that mission right now. Okay, keep data board. Sidri's already gone above and beyond the call of duty as far as science is concerned. Thought I wanted to land. No, 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 no. I don't want to land. No, no. Oh dear, no. That might happen, but I bet I can't. I don't have parachutes, and this thing isn't enough of a lifting body. Okay, we'll do this one. Probably should have done it earlier, too. Let's just get started. Citri looks absolutely calm.
Try 37. Sounds good to me. Uh, well, it depends how fast. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't think that 37... 37... Uh, th yeah, let's see how much we need to adjust. Actually, I can check that now, can't I? Oh no, I can't. Doesn't even know, though. No, yeah, of course. I have never... I have not air braked that lathe in this version of KSP. I've air braked that lathe in other versions of KSP. Not this one. And there's no arrow braking calculator to help us. Oh, uh, you mean... You mean Sidri doesn't know. Well, let's set it to 37 for now, and then we'll uh, talk about it on the way in. Okay, very little fuel left. Here we go. Uh, oh, let's let's check. How much does it take? That's a lot of braking. Um, I feel like I should be doing some math here. I'm gonna get an index card out. Let's see, um, what is your scale height, Lathe? Aw, oh, they don't tell me the scale height? Um, I'm pretty sure other things tell me the scale height. Jewel? No. Okay. Well, I guess scale height is not a thing we get told here. Okay. I don't know. Is the wiki updated with the scale heights or not? Yeah. Um, I, I tend to agree that 37 won't work. And the reason is because we've got a lot of delta V to cut out here. I'm looking at the wiki. Scale height 8,000. 0.6 atmosphere, scale height 8,000 meters. So, uh, okay, that's interesting. Now, what is Duna's numbers? Because that's somewhere we've been to before. So, the pressure where we get air braked at Duna get into a safe orbit is about 0.002 something and the equivalent height is actually bizarrely enough about 25 kilometers for lathe that's no no that's not right that's not right that's not right at all uh, I left out a zero it's higher. It's like 40, more than 40 kilometers. No, it's, I think 37. I think they've got to be kidding, right? I don't remember how much, how much velocity we lose around Duna. Don't believe my math. Uh-huh. Well, I don't believe my math right now either, so... Here we go again. Is this the third time we've passed by Leif today? With Sidri? I think so. Oh, hold on. Well, the wiki might not be. I think the wiki is not updated. That's why I'm getting these interesting numbers. But let's just see what it would have been with uh, air braking calculator in the old days. Let me get a second opinion on this. Oh boy. Uh, air braking calculator says it used to be 23 kilometers. Air braking calculator is drunk and should go home. Oh man. So the number we've got now is 30 kilometers. Let's not talk about crashing speed, huh?
Now remember, it used to be on Duna that the air air capture speed air capture speed was 12 kilometers, and now it's like 24. So, if the air capture speed at Leif used to be 24 kilometers, does that mean now it's at 40? Oh God, I hate this. I'm reconsidering. I'm going back to 36. No, 34. Okay, stop changing your mind, stop changing your mind. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, yeah, bets. What do you guys think will happen? Obviously, we don't have any fuel to break manually. I should have. Well, I can't, uh, of course, uh, quick save. That was, that's because of the difficulty and because, of course, basic policy. Go nose first. I won't capture if I go nose first. Yeah, we would skim the atmosphere and we'd just bounce off. There's no way going nose first I'd capture. Not this altitude. Okay, you guys are going like Sidri is goners. Well, you know, maybe nose first would work. Yeah, okay. I have to take it back. I like the nose first idea. Here we go. Sidri, we have spun you nose first, after all. Sky has gone very dark for us. Okay. RCS to try and get some control. Oh crap. This was a bad idea. Belly first totally wouldn't have worked. We're going up. Come on. Dear. Come on. We have captured. Barely. Barely captured. And in fact, it's such a barely capture that I'm going to retro with the mop propellant a bit. But we have to also boost up. Okay, um, let's go to Apoapsis and boost up before doing anything else. I uh, know I'm not going to go for a second pass if you're going to suggest that. No, there's a way! We've got mop propellant. Yeah. I'm just worried about it spitting us back out, which it can do sometimes if the math is just borderline. But it's safe to say that Sidri is no longer in a crew transfer vessel. He is now up for rescue. He is a rescue candidate now. Yeah, I have no engine. That's for sure. I've also lost uh, always open solar panels. So before further, wow, it's still red. It's glowing red, folks. Let's extend the only solar panel we've got. 
We also lost the RCS tanks in here because those were part, uh, attached to the other part. All we've got is the RCS fuel from the Clampatron. Yeah, I need a I need a rescue mission. And I really have to hope that this mob balance is enough to boost the uh, uh, the periapsis. Okay, we'll leave it there. Uh, let's let's bring the apoapsis down a little bit further, just for safety's sake. Okay, well we don't have that much mob balance. Okay. Orient my solar panel. Well, my solar panel is sort of oriented. I guess that's as oriented as it's gonna get. Okay, so, yeah, red hot parts. We've already done the science? Have we done the science close to lathe? No, we haven't. Well, uh, transmitting science. Well, this just goes to show, Sidri is awesome, and this is why you put your four-star pilots in charge of these kinds of missions, right? Though, he'll still want to slide off here. Okay, transmit that. Well, now Sidri has to get rescued. And I guess we'll have to do that some other time. Okay, no more dramatic stuff. Let me cut the music for a bit. Uh, Sidri avoided having the the mourning music, as in Kerbal has died music, played for him. And uh, he's all right. He's all right in orbit around Lathe, and we will have to rescue him. But Yep, well, uh, and I guess we also have to send something into orbit around Val. But let's go back to the Space Center and see what we've accomplished here. Okay, so 476 science altogether. Uh, we, we're now at 2 million funds. Um, yep, that is a good thing. And so Sidri's helped us. I, I, I want, I, oh, I wanted the, the ore detector, right? But uh, let, let me not make decisions on this. No, Kerbal, no, no, we lost Jeb, Screech. We lost Jeb. That's the only Kerbal we've lost. He would have needed a rescue anyway. Well, he would have needed somewhere to dock up with, is more correct. Uh, the goal was to uh, send over more assets that he could then dock with. But yeah, uh, it, it's not too bad. We were planning on something similar in any case. All right. I think that definitely does it. F I lost Jeb. Yes. <laughs> I've lost Jeb many times. He's the first person you lose, right? Yeah. Watch watch the YouTube videos uh, of this uh, live streaming. Uh, you'll see where I lost Jeb very early on. Yeah, poor Jeb always goes first. So why the smiley face, though? <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, yep, I think this does it for me. I think I've had enough adventure for one day. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this stream. And uh, if you haven't already followed, please do. And I'll next stream on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, which is 11 p.m. GMT. Unless, uh, if you guys have any input about my streaming times, feel free to tell me. Because uh, uh, I just uh, picked based on what... Uh, was convenient. So anyway, yep. All right. See ya. And that'll be all. Have a good day.